somebody with a disability, uh, like an intellectual disability or mentally challenged. Um, through Power Sport, the Special Olympics program, uh, Special Olympics program helps to foster the acceptance and inclusion of all people, including children and adults with intellectual disabilities. The mission of the Special Olympics program is to provide year-round sports training and athletic competition in a variety of Olympic type um, activities. Um, this helps to like make the children more welcome and like feel that they're actually like doing a good job and that they make them feel more. Um, who, who does the Special Olympics help? Um, Special Olympics in 2011, according to their recently updated webpage, uh, they held 50 like around 54 competitions last year, and they helped uh, one or four million athletes. And now they've uh, expanded to a total of 170 uh, countries. To review what I'm going to be speaking about today, first I'm going to talk about the history, such as when did Special Olympics began and who was their founder. And then I'll also be talking about the benefits and how this program not only provides for the children and the adults, but also for the volunteers. The history um, it was founded in 1968 by Eunice. Kennedy Shriver. Um, according to the Unis, uh, Kennedy Shriver website, she created the Special Olympics Pledge when she started it, and it is, let me win, but if I cannot, let me be brave in my attempt. Um, the Special Olympics does everything from alpine skiing to volleyball. They provide uh, training, and then also they make well-matched uh, sporting events. Um, it started basically as a backyard summer camp um, for people with intellectual disabilities in the United States. And now it's expanded to, like I said, 174 countries. Um, so it's a global movement. Um, they've been around for 44 years. And on July 20, 1968, the first International Special Olympic Summer Games were held at Soldier Field in uh, Illinois and 1,000 people were there from 26 different states and Canada. And according to the International Trademark Association, uh, in 1971, the U.S. Olympic Committee gave the Special Olympics official approval to use um, Olympics in their name, and they're only one out of two allowed to use that. Um, uh, the Special Olympics is all about spirit and teamwork. It's about making your community and neighborhood more welcoming and accepting place for people of all abilities. Um, now that we know what the, how the Special Olympics has grown into a worldwide health organization, we can better understand how this program provides for the mentally challenged. Special Olympics is a program that offers plenty of opportunities for volunteer service. And the volunteer work you do actually does make a great difference. I myself have a personal story. My fraternity that I was in went to a bowling alley and we were helping, at first I was helping older gentlemen and we were helping uh, keep all their scores and uh, just like basically give them support, clap for them, high fives and all that. And then they switched me over to the other side with the, an even older lady and uh, I was like helping her walk up and I'd help her put the ball on the rail. She'd roll it down and go down and like every time she hit him, she'd just like laugh and it was actually pretty cool. And eventually she asked me to start holding her hand like up and down. So I don't know, it kind of meant a lot to me that she would actually want me to hold her hand and stuff like that. So it was pretty interesting. Um, volunteers are widely used for either a resume or philanthropy. That's what I use it for. Like I need uh, volunteer hours for my that I'm in, so it was great for that. And then I told you about that. I think inclusion, Special Olympics is a great way to serve others, not only yourself. <coughs> it makes athletes really feel like they're, they mean something and that you actually care about their sports. Um, and the next special events in Missouri, Special Olympic event in Missouri will be on May 30th. Through June 2nd, and that's the Missouri Summer 